Let's talk about how to make a good score on hole 16 at Monarch Beach Golf Links. This tee shot might seem simple, but let's be honest, there's some bunkers out there that you want to avoid. You don't want to hit it left into the OB area, and maybe you're that person who hits it down the hole 12 fairway, but let's talk about how to hit hole 16 fairway. There's a bunker here down on the right hand side over those coral trees that is about 240 to hit. You got another bunker down the left side that you can't see that are by those three palm trees down there that's about 295 to hit. If you catch it on a downwind day with a firm fairway, you can hit that bunker. So let's talk about avoiding those bunkers and field goaling this fairway. There's a, there's a couple palm trees way in the distance there. There's the three and there's the coral trees. In a perfect world, we are field goaling those palm trees. If you fade it, you're aiming at the palm trees on the left and fading it right. If you draw the ball, you're aiming at the coral trees on the right and drawing it off the coral trees. If you're not quite sure, you're gonna aim down this right hand side because you got room left if you pull it left and you got room right if you push it right. Me, I'm hoping to hit a straight ball right now. So I'm in a field goal between my palm trees and my coral trees, pick out my target in front of my golf ball, walk in, my target is about right there, aim my club face over my target, club head down, feet in, get nice and comfy, make sure I feel good, <clears throat> take a nice deep breath, and go. Now you know what? I actually faded that just a hair, but I had the right line off the tee to be able to field goal this fairway. Let's go hit the second shot. So mission number one was successful. I hit the fairway here at 16. Now I need to hit the green. You'll see that the pin is back right today. I have a bunker short and I have a bunker long. I have 100 yards to the flag, but here's the deal. I'm not just taking the flag number into play. To carry the front bunker is 90 yards. If I hit it in the back bunker, it's 110 yards. So between about 95 and 105 is my landing area. Yes, that sounds about 110, you know, or 100 yards on the dot, but here's the deal. The air is heavy. I have a little wind in my back. Having a bigger landing area like 105 to 110 gives me a feeling of if I miss it just a little bit, I will still be fine versus just 100 yards on the dot. So here's the deal, I'm taking my 110 club knowing that the air is heavier right now and I'm gonna swing it normal. Some of it will come off because of the air. So here's my 110 club. I'm aiming it at the flag because I'm comfortable with a 110 club at the flag here. Pick up my target in front of the golf ball, put my club head down, and all I need to do is make a confident swing. I don't need to overswing this, I just need to commit to hitting a solid golf shot. Let's go see if that was the right yardage to play today. So I had the right yardage today with my pitching wedge and obviously I'm very happy with the shot. I have a chance at birdie, but let's make this putt. This putt from behind the flag here does break left to right. High point to my left, right point to my right. Obviously I'm taking into consideration between my ball and the hole, but I like to look at the whole topography view to get a really good understanding of where this ball is gonna fall. I feel like when I stand over it, like it's gonna move maybe mm, a couple inches to the right. So I'm gonna aim just on top of the left edge, mark my ball, choose my line. And here's the deal, when I'm behind this golf ball, I am visualizing this ball rolling on its line into the hole. That is helping me figure out how hard to hit it and all I care about in this moment is this ball going in this hole. So take a nice deep breath, visualize one solid practice stroke, hold my finish, put her head down, set my feet up, be confident that it's gonna go in the hole. Hey, I made birdie at hole 16, it's a great day. I'm Jackie and that's your Monday Mulligan.